Hi there, my name is Charlie Roy and I work for Echo Consulting. Uh, today I'm going to be going over how to create a stacked bar chart uh, for a dashboard in Smartsheet. And so we're just going to be using this uh, little fake data sheet that I have set up here. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at creating a stacked bar chart from this assigned to column and this status column. And our chart is going to show uh, how many tasks over here of each status each of these individuals has. So our chart should show for Jeff that he has uh, one complete project and two projects not started uh, and so on for Andy and Nancy. <laughs> So the one of the things with a stacked bar chart is in Smartsheet, you can create charts from reports, but you can't create a stacked bar or column chart from a report. And so we're going to be needing to create a metric sheet in order to look at this information. And so let's go over to this empty metric sheet that I have here, and I'm going to show you how to put all of that info into a table here so that we can create a chart from it. So I'm going to start over here with our assigned to. And then up across the top, I'll put our statuses. Perfect. So we're going to have to create a formula to populate these cells here, and we're going to be using a count ifs formula. So we're basically going to be looking at this other sheet here, and we're going to say if the assigned to is Nancy, or count if the assigned to is Nancy, and if the um, status is in progress or the status is complete. We'll go over here. So our formula is going to look like this. We'll do equal count ifs. Perfect. We're going to select our first range. So we'll head right to the stacked bar example sheet. I already have it up. We're going to click the assign to column, insert reference. There we go. And our criteria is going to be that it is Nancy. So we could do this a couple of ways. I could type Nancy's name there. Sorry. Like this. Or I could just select this cell right in my metric sheet. We're going to do that because I'm going to show you the benefits to it in just a moment. So there we go. So this says count if the assigned to is Nancy. Now we're, so we did ifs, so we're going to add another criteria to this. So we're going to check that sheet again. We'll head over here. Now we're going to look at the status column. So reference, perfect. And our criteria is going to be that it's not started for this cell. So we'll just select that cell again, just like that. OK, cool. So right there. Zero, that's correct. Uh, Nancy does not have, we got Nancy's here. She does not have any not started projects. There we go. So I'm going to go back to my formula here because I'm going to show you an easier way for us to replicate this formula across the rest of the grid. Okay. And so we'll double click here. If we put in an absolute here, an absolute is just the dollar sign. Okay, now when we drag this formula across these cells, it's always going to be looking over here at this primary column uh, for this reference. Um, whereas if we didn't have the absolute, we dragged this formula over to this next cell over here under in progress, it would be looking to see if there's anything that equals what was in this cell versus anything that equals what's in this cell, Nancy. And we're going to do the same thing for this other reference over here, except this time we're going to put it on the row. There we go. Perfect. Now I hit enter, still zero. But now with those absolutes, I can just take this formula, 
drag it down, drag it across. It's replicated. We have our whole grid. So this is what our stacked bar chart is going to be looking at. I'm going to save this. Now I'll go over here. I have an example dashboard set up. So we are going to add a chart widget. So I'll go head right over here to the plus. We're going to add chart. Perfect. And now we're going to add the data for the chart. We're going to hit this metric sheet here. Here's our sheet. And I'm going to select this whole range here. And I'm going to include um, these titles, Nancy, Jeff, Andy, and not started in progress and complete. OK, there we go. It's going to default to like a regular column chart. And we're going to head down here to the stacked bar option. Uh, there we go. Perfect. You can also do a stacked column. So depending on how things are formatted for today, we're going to do the stacked bar. Nice. Cool. And so now we can see up here, we've got blue representing non, not started, red representing in progress, orange representing complete. If we hover our mouse over, we can see that Nancy has two in progress, two complete. Jeff has two not started one complete and Andy's got one in progress and one complete. Um, if you don't want to have to hover your mouse in order to see these, I like to add value labels. So there we go. So if you come down to this series bit, you can show your value labels. Uh, something else you can do if you want it to look a little bit prettier, you can get things to all match up from a color standpoint. I'll head here. Do something like that. Beautiful. Now I click save and we have a stacked bar chart. Anyways, I hope that you found that helpful and thank you for watching.